Hi, welcome to my channel, Takayaki Tarot. Oh, here's the meringue. Okay, cool. Um, today is November 15th, 2022, 1.35 p.m. So I had a couple dreams last night or a couple messages or whatever. Honestly, it was like one dream, but there was just so much going on in that dream. Okay, um, before I get into the messages and start pulling cards, you know, just remember that these messages are not going to resonate with everyone. They're supposed to help give you some clarity or guidance or, um, you know, on whatever situations you're dealing with or what have you. Um, you know, if they resonate with you, great. If it doesn't, that's okay. Don't force it to be your story. Don't make it yours, right? Um, now I'm going to do my prayer. I pray to God and call upon Archangel Michael and any ancestors, angels, and spirits of the highest white light that love me unconditionally to continue to protect me and my family during this time. Please help us see things clearly and to help us remove the fog of illusion that has led us down a false path in the past. Amen. So there's going to be a lot. Um, but I'm going to try and get through this quick. So I'm only going to say like what's really, really necessary. One of the first things is that, um, in a couple of my videos, I mentioned something about a, a storm. Okay. Somebody wanted to bring a storm to you. Um, cause uh, there was two dreams I had with storms. There was like a storm brewing outside. Okay. But I was unfazed by this. I was bothered. Um, the reason why I'm bringing that up is because um, and one of the things that I saw in my dreams last night was there was a toilet. It was clear water in the toilet, but the toilet was about to overflow, but I went like that. And the water, just before it was about to tip over, the water stopped. Okay? That toilet dream, toilet dream, that dream and then the, the dreams with the two storms, those are all, those, those three things are connected, all right? So basically what I'm trying to say is somebody's trying to bring a storm to your front door, cause chaos, whatever the case may be, that has nothing to do with you. This is their problem, their storm, their issues, whatever, but they're trying to project that. They're trying to drag you into that, right? And the way they're going to do that is by your emotions. They're trying to either bring up emotions from the past or bring up or guilt you or whatever the case may be, whatever, right? Their goal by bringing the storm to your front door is to get you, um, get like an emotional reaction out of you, all right? But you're going to be able to catch it just in time. So just stay relaxed, stay calm, you know, just don't let these people try to t get you out of character, all right? That's what, that's what they want to do. They want to get you out of character. Yeah, there's a bunch of books on the floor right now, so. Hmm, that's not bad. Um, so, something else. Um, some of you may be feeling like you don't feel like wanna, you want to, like, participate in, like, events or go out. Um, like, you know, just, you, I, I don't know, like, you're, you're feeling like you just kind of, like, want to stay home and whatever the case may be, right? Um, there's a reason for that. That's not a bad thing, right? You don't always have to be outside. You don't always have to go to this party or this event or hang out with friends or whatever the case may be. You don't always have to do that, right? If you're really having a strong urge to stay inside, you are being called to stay inside, all right? Unless you have to go out for necessary things like groceries or whatever the case may be, right? Unless it's necessary, you're being guided to not go outside right now at this moment, Okay. Um, the reason why I'm bringing that up is because I had a dream that police officers came to um, my door and they were talking about house arrest, okay? The reason why that is connected with being guided not to go outside is because someone else in the dream, they were getting mad because I wasn't going outside, okay? Somebody wants you to leave your home because they're waiting to get their hands on you, Okay? So, um, in the dream, like I said, I was, um, a police officers, they came to my home and they were talking to me they were like, yeah, so we're going to put you on house arrest for a little bit, blah, 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 blah. Um, and because of that, I couldn't leave my home, right? Somebody else was mad because they were waiting for me to leave my home. So that way they can, like, they were waiting in the car somewhere or they were just like plotting, like they were just banking on me leaving my home for whatever reason. So that way they can get their hands on me. Right. Um, but because I was on house arrest, I couldn't leave my home. 
So they were never able to get their hands on me. So that's what I'm saying. You guys are being guided to stay home unless necessary for a bigger reason. Okay. Um, so that's one. Well, that's the second thing. Um, you guys are going to be getting some sort of letter in the mail. Someone is going to, it's going to be like an anonymous letter because I saw, um, like I know who the person was, right? But they were, they didn't think that I saw them, right? Um, this person, they came to my home, they dropped off a letter and then they like quickly walked away, right? They were trying to make it seem like it was like a quick thing. This letter has information for you that you need to know, Okay. Um, someone is going to be getting a restraining order on them once this information comes to light. Okay, once you get this information, um, you're going to be getting a restraining order on somebody. It's kind of like proof of what they've been doing to you behind your back. Um, glass windows. Somebody wants to see inside to inside of your life or inside of your home. Like they just really want to know what's going on with you, what's going on with your life, your relationship, your money, your family, your job. Like your hobbies, like everything you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, they want to know everything about it, all right? Like if they, if you lived in a glass house, they would be the first ones to be like looking right outside, right? Or looking inside. Something about pine trees. Um, you could live near pine trees or this person lives near pine trees or something. Uh, I said in a video yesterday, uh, something about planting, okay? They were trying to plant something or they planted something, all right? Like potted plants or something, whatever. Um, whatever they planted or, or whatever they were plotting was around pine trees in particular. There's something in uh, particular about pine trees or pines, like pine cones. Cause I drew a, I drew a pine cone, but, um, there's going to be someone. Okay. So the person there's like, all right. So a friend that, you know, is going to help you get justice for something that was done to you behind your back, okay? This person is also going to bring you some information that um, they're going to bring you some sort of information that's going to help you with this restraining order. Um, yeah. I know it's a lot. So the person that's mad because you don't leave your ho your 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 house, your home, that's the person that you're going to get a restraining order on. They want you to leave your home because they want to do something, but you know, God is guiding you. You're being guided to not leave your home, right? Um besides there's really no reason for you to leave your home right now. Okay? So the person that's trying to harm you, you're going to be um, it's either you're going to get a restraining order on them or it's, oh, it's a metaphor. You're going to get justice for this person. Um, so it may not actually be a restraining order, but there, something's going to happen where they're not going to be able to get near you at all. It's kind of like some sort of divine intervention. They're not going to be able to get near you, to touch you, to talk to you, to look at you. Um, they're going to be in some sort of solitude. They could be going to jail, um, whatever the case may be, but this person is not going to be able to get near you. So yeah, that's all I, <laughs> that's all I have. So, <sighs> um, the person that's trying to get near you. Okay, that wants you to leave your home, that is one storyline. The second storyline is the storms in the toilet. That's those are two different storylines. So you essentially, you know, if any of this relates to you, you have um one person that's trying to defame your character behind the scenes and trying to get their hands on you for nefarious reasons, whatever the case may be, they're gonna go to jail. On the other storyline, um there is another person separate from the original. Um, that person is trying to bring a storm to your front door because of their emotional instability at the moment. Okay. So there's a lot going on right now. There's a, there's a lot going on right now. So essentially you're being attacked from different, multiple different um, 
angles. But you got this. You know, you're there's literally nothing to be worried about. Just you know. Like this is literally it's funny because these people are spending all their time, money, and energy trying to attack you, right? And you're literally just waking up, you know, going, you know, doing what you have to do. Um and you know, just drinking your tea or your coffee or whatever, minding your own business. And then, you know, you just go to bed and, you know, have sweet dreams and then wake up and then do it all over again. And then these people are just, like, losing their mind. Like, I was just spending all day trying to attack them yesterday. What the heck happened? And you're like, what? You were trying to attack me? I didn't realize. I didn't notice. Right? That's how insignificant their attacks are. And their attempts. I'm going to do left side collective, right side um <laughs> strangers they are just so insignificant On the bottom of the deck, we have, you don't need them in your life. All right. We have, you cannot conform for the collective. It was your family. They no longer know their purpose. And we have the letter P. First, last, little initial, never in place. Or, oh, pines. Something about pines. Pine trees, pine cones. Um, there's something about pines, pine trees. There's something very important about pine trees right now. Right now. Whatever this was, um, you don't you don't need them in your life, okay? Whatever this is, whatever's going on. And the thing is, um, a lot of them are really PO'd because you can't conform. Whatever they're trying to bring to your storm, all their attacks, like it's not facing you, it's not bothering you. Okay, they can try and attack you as many times as they want. We have an Aquarius or an air sign that is lost and confused. They are lost and confused. What are these two? It's the whispers at night. Pies and Miza. Yeah, these people are nosy and stingy and they're mentally unstable. Like their mind is playing tricks on them. They're losing their shizzle. <sighs> so for the strangers, this says it was your family and they no longer know their purpose. In the middle, um, this P, I, I, it represents pines. Pine trees or pine cones. That's in the middle of whatever's going on. All right. Plotted pines. Anyways, we'll get to that. So this could be your family that so they're mad because you're you're not conforming to their traditional values or traditional ideals, idea uh, ideals or ideas, um, you know religious beliefs, traditional mindsets, um, or traditional nine to five working UT career, um, whatever the case may be. You're not stuck the way they are. All right. And the thing is, a lot of the reasons, they're, they're really confused. All of these people, they're confused because they don't know what their purpose is. And for a while, they were given signs and messages. But because of their traditional beliefs or religious beliefs or whatever the case may be, they, they were convinced that it was, you know, the devil playing tricks on them or um, the enemy doing witchcraft or whatever the case may be, right? So they just was like, you know, uh, just just pray to God and we're going to do this or we're going to do that or, okay, we're going to we're going to be attracted to these kinds of people or whatever the case may be. But um, it's just they ignored it for so long. They strayed from, you know, what their purpose was supposed to be about. And now they're just angry, confused and lost. Um, and a lot of that had to do with conditioning. All right. Like 
something about their the past, like their ancestors. Maybe their ancestors were conditioned to not follow their purpose, which got passed down from their parents and then their parents and then their parents. And there's like a whole lineage of people who, you know, have gifts, but because of how they were, you know, conditioned for so long, they ignore their gifts. And now they're just like, well, aren't we supposed to be doing this? Well, I don't know. How does it feel for you? I don't feel like anything. It doesn't feel like anything, right? Um, there's a lack of passion in their lives, a lack of purpose, a lack of direction. And because you didn't conform to all that conditioning, you broke free. You're able to embrace your gifts, your purpose, who you are, what you're meant to do, what you're meant to be, et cetera, et cetera. All that good stuff. Um, your family resent you for this. There's a lot of resentment going on. I could be talking to, um... A divine feminine or a divine masculine or something like that but there's like a bunch of strangers in your family all right i'm gonna get one for the collective i'm gonna get one for the collective and then one for the pine trees there's something about pine trees We have air garden, shift your perception. Um, you did that, all right, when you realized this is not how you wanted to live your life, so you changed. For the collective, we have guardian angel, you are not alone. And autumn, release the old and rest. This is exactly what you did. You released the old. Once you released all of this conditioning, you were able to kind of like rest um, your soul because you're like, okay, cool. All right, now I know what I'm supposed to be doing, right? You're not having a tug of war with your soul, with your mind, your body, your environment, your people, your family, right? You're moving on. You're you're going towards your purpose. And you know you're not alone. You know you're not alone, okay? For the pine trees, we have sun. Enjoy success and happiness. Earth guardian, stay rooted and grounded. So pine trees, um, they're usually... The trees, they're rooted and they're grounded and they like to, you know, um, enjoy success and happiness. A lot of, I feel like a lot of animals rely on pine trees, not only for like their nuts or like the pine cones, but they make combs and all that stuff. So you are the pine tree in your family. I know that sounds so corny. It really does. But you're the pine tree in your family. You are, you're rooted, okay? You're grounded. You create happiness for your, your home, your family, your friends, all right? When people are around you, they're happy. They feel good. You have, like, this abundant of, like, success, like, attached to you. You're always, like, anything you do, you're, you can be successful in it, right? If you want to go sell socks at the mall, you're going to have a great, successful, you know, career selling socks. Like, that's just, like, a, a little vague example, but... Like pine trees, they can grow tall as tall and tall and like they can, in the winter, you'll see pine trees. In the summer, you'll see pine trees. In the autumn, you'll see pine trees. In the springtime, you'll see pine trees. Like pine trees are rooted all year round. There's something um, very important about pine trees when it comes to the collective in particular. I cannot get that out of my head. Pine trees, there's like... There's something about a pine tree, too. I'm seeing um, um, that one SpongeBob scene where Patrick is like, firmly grasp it. Firmly grasp it. And then, like, the other character, he can't grasp the, the netting. So this is what they were trying to do to you. They were trying to, like, kind of grasp you and keep you confined, conformed. They're just like, just just keep them conformed. Like, why can't you just control the collective? Why can't you just tell the collective to be still? Or why can't you just tell the collective to follow what we believe in? Or whatever the case may be. Like, they just couldn't, like, catch you and keep you netted. You can't be conformed. That sounds really corny, I know, but, like... 
these people, they've been caught in a net for so long in their lives. So when you, you know, got out of that net, they're like, whoa, what? You allowed yourself to be planted and now you're this beautiful pine tree, okay? You know, um, something about the tree of life too. And roots, something about roots. I can see a pine tree or like a tree of life and all the roots are in the ground, but the roots are pulsating and spreading. And like they're pulsating and growing and stretching and spreading. Like everything really is connected. It's, it's crazy how accurate that is. I honestly, I don't know if I'm going to upload this video. But, you know, we'll see what happens. If I do decide to upload it, I'll upload it, um, I'll upload it, I don't know, like in a couple days or, you know, in a, in a month from now. I'm gonna get one for the strangers. No, that doesn't count. Yeah. On the bottom of the deck, we have distraction and mischief and growth. These people were trying to, they were trying to distract you by causing like, you know, stupid chaos or mischief in your life to prevent you from growing. All right. But you're, you just can't be conformed. They really wanted to distract you. For the collective or for the strangers um yeah they wanted to pretend like they were the collective like they knew what was right they they, they knew jesus that they knew the way all right but it's kind of like well if we know the way how come we're not where the collective is right now how come the collective is happy and successful and cozy and we're over here struggling we have curiosity and ghosts these people are confused um, as to how you were able to climb out of that net. They want to know how, okay? And that's why with the curiosity card, they want to know everything that's going on in your life. They want to see inside your home. They want to see in your relationship. Your, your, if they could see inside your mind, they would, all right? They want to know everything that's going on with your home, your job, your family, your relationship, everything. They want to know how you were able to let go of the past, the, the way of conditioning, the conditions of the past. They want to know how you were able to do that because they're stuck in the past. They're so stuck in the past. And then, like I said, it has to do with being conditioned, uh, being taught a certain way, being taught to think a certain way, to believe a certain thing, to act a certain way, whatever the case may be, right? Colonization, right? Not to get all historical, but that's what it is. Colonization, right? Um, they don't know their purpose because they have strayed from their ancestral, cultural roots, whatever the case may be. They want to know how is it that you were able to let go of this conditioning because they can't do it. They're stuck in the past, all right? They're holding on to not necessarily the memories, but the, the beliefs from the past that are not getting them anywhere, all right? Um, they're like, well, we've been following this way of life for so long. How come we're not seeing any improvements? How come we're still stuck? How come we're this? How come we're that, right? How come we're still, you know, living like this or eating like this, or whatever the case may be, right? And then they see you eating lobsters, steaks, like, uh, like a gourmet meal, right? And it's because they're literally, literally preventing themselves from being able to access the divine the way they should be. Okay, um, I don't even know if they're able to at this point. They're probably just gonna have to come back and do it all again. But um, they have the chance. They're stuck in the past. That's what it is. They're stuck in an old mindset of an old belief that has no, no purpose right now. All right, there's purpose again, right? There's there's no point, no point to it. 
right? It's not doing anything for them. Um, the way that they're living is not for them. It, ha it serves no purpose for them. It serves purpose for whomever was the original creator of that belief or that mindset or of that way of conditioning of life, right? It's not doing anything for them. And they're wondering, well, we've been living like this. How come nothing's happening? Because that is not for you, okay? That, that was never your purpose. You were just thought that it was, right? You were, you were taught that living like this was the way that you should be living. And it's not the way. It's just not, all right? And until they realize that, they're going to constantly resent you because you are not able to conform. You... <laughs> You are like the anomaly in your family, okay? You let go of that old mindset. Um, hmm. <laughs> I should take those. Thank you. You're not concerned about anything. You have concern reverse. There's literally nothing for you to be worrying about and you're not worried about anything. Right? Because you're not alone. Your guardian angels, multiple angels are with you. You're not alone. There's nothing for you to be worried about, for you to be scared about. We have wealthy man in reverse. So there's a wealthy man that's working against the divine. So the way I see it, this wealthy man in reverse is trying to come in like a really big gust of wind trying to knock down this pine tree, the pine tree being you. Um, this man has no money, no direction, nothing. My music just cut off. Mm -hmm. He's trying to cut down a pine tree. But what he doesn't realize is that this pine tree is blessed and protected. Not only that, but this pine tree's roots are, they go deep. They go very, very deep. All right, so that could be your lineage goes way, 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 way back. We have guardian angel, earth guardian. You're protected by the angels and the earth. The earth is protecting this pine tree. This particular pine tree is being protected by the divine, by the earth. <laughs> this. We have house and distant horizon reversed. So you're going to find out something about a house very, very soon. Something is going to come to light about a house. The lights are on, but nobody's home. This family... Um, They're trying to hide some sort of truth because I just noticed that there's an eclipse in this house card. They're trying to hide some sort of truth. 
like eclipsing the truth from you. And the thing is, they were able to do that because they were all living in this particular belief, life, right? You left. Once you left, nothing can cut you down. Nothing can blow you away. Nothing can be hidden from you. There's an eclipse. In this card, the eclipse is just about to happen, but it doesn't happen. So they were able to hide the truth from you for a long time, but now they can't. The truth is going to be revealed. Okay, a lot of that has to do because you're using your intuition. Um, with this distant horizon, but it's in reverse, so something's gonna be ha gonna be happening soon. If this is your family, it actually really sucks because your family tried to hook you. Or try to keep you hooked on something. It could be um, hooked in like self sabotage, um, self regret, shame, guilt, certain lifestyle. They try to keep you hooked in a certain state of mind. But now you're flying free. You broke free. You're a very colorful and vibrant person too. That's the thing. That's why you have the sun here. All right. Everywhere you go, you um, I had this one dream one time where like I was like a little star being and everywhere I went, I was like in this one realm where everything was just like dark and gloomy. And everywhere I went, because I was a star being, my skin was all glowing. Um, if I were to walk next to some grass, the grass would be illuminated by me just by me walking next to it. The grass would be illuminated. Right. That's you. That's who you are. You're, you've always been colorful and vibrant and that scares them because they're so traditional. They're so like plain. There's really nothing wow about them, right? There's no wow factor to them. There's nothing interesting. There's nothing like, oh my gosh, right? Like they're just like background characters. That sounds messed up because they're your family. But they're not really, there's nothing different about them. They're not special. Okay, that's part of the reason why they resented you. That's why they wanted to keep you hooked in this particular mindset. You're not like them. And there's a reason for that. So these people have boxed, hold on, they've boxed themselves in with their own lies and illusions. Your family did. They're stuck in a box. That's how they keep, that's how they kept themselves, stuck in a box, a box of mindsets, ways of thinking, beliefs, religion, whatever the case may be, they, they've kept themselves in that box. A lot of it has to do because of fear. Right? They're afraid of something. That fear is actually, it's been conditioned. Now, at this point, they're like, well, what are we afraid of? We don't know. They don't want to figure it out. But you did. You figured it out. And you were just like, all right, well, bye. <laughs> I'm leaving. And you left. Mm. Sorry. 
says judgment. Everybody is being judged. Everybody. Not just the strangers, your family. You're also being judged as well. Everybody is being judged for the role that they have to play in life. Okay? And however you get judged, however they get judged, is what, when, you know, it's, um, will be dealt with accordingly. Okay? There's a lot of people asking for forgiveness. We're sorry that we did this to the collective. We're sorry that we, like, you guys have the same opportunity too. You guys could have been doing the same thing that the collective is doing, but you chose not to. You guys could have been in the same position as the collective, but you chose to not do that, right? Because it was ego. They thought that they were better than the collective. Seven of Cups. They don't like that the collective has all these options, right? It's like they're watching God give them, well, here's something for you. And then when you're done with that, I'm going to give you this. And then when you're done with that, I'm going to give you that. Like, they don't like that. There's so many things going on for the collective at the moment. have sun reverse so we have two suns these people are in a very very dark place um a lot of it has to do because they try to hide some sort of truth from you well we have one sun here it's going to come out no matter what no matter what they do it's going to come out yeah we have these people are narcissists king of cups reverse this wealthy man in particular like the main, um, what is that, um, in the circus, the guy who, the ringleader, this wealthy man in the reverse is a ringleader. He was the one, well, we'll, we'll just keep this a secret, right? That wealthy man in reverse is a narcissist. Yeah, he tried to cause blockages to you with the Ace of Wands reverse. Because he has nothing. He's mad that you rejected You rejected his offer. Oh my God. So this is a man working with your family to try to cause blockages in your life because you rejected his love. And now they're starting to see that this man is actually a narcissist. Why did we listen to this? False wealthy man. Well, first of all, false was his first name. So that should have told you something. Right? He wanted to cut down a pine tree. <laughs> Knight of Cups reverse, Magician reverse. And now he's in the Five of Cups. All of them are. They, they regret listening to this wealthy man trying to cut down this pine tree. Yeah, these people are stuck. Um, they're just stuck in a really dark place right now. This could be, um, it's all of it. Emotionally and mentally, they're just stuck. They can't do anything. Oh, four of swords. We have two of cups that came out and then on the bottom of the deck we have temperance and high priestess and ace of cups. <laughs> um, 
they did this to a pine tree that is a high priestess, right? High priestess, you found balance in your life, and now you have a cup overflowing with love. You have a healthy partnership going on, right? You're in love. You're happy. He's very protective over you, too, high priestess. Um, so this is for divine feminine. You're masculine. He's very protective over you. You see how he's got his arm around her waist? He's keeping her close. But not in like in a weird way, in a way where just like, you know, um, I'm going to protect you. I'm going to, you know, like he's just making sure that he's protecting his woman. There's angels around this union. The angels are protecting this union. So high priestess, you let somebody go. You rejected somebody's love. This wealthy man in reverse, right? This broke joke. You let him go. So he tried to cut you down. And the way he did that, he tried to use your family against you. Tried to say, oh, she's doing magic on me, blah, blah, blah. She's into witchcraft, blah, 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 whatever the case may be, right? But now everyone's just like, wait a minute, what? I don't understand. If they're really that miserable, if they're really doing this, well, how come, you know, they're living this lifestyle? And we're all living the lifestyle that you said that the collective was living. You know what I mean? So, you know. But judgment has been called. Temperance, balance is being restored. Divine intervention, the angels are here. So nobody has to worry. You're definitely not worried, collective. Um, You know. Queen of Cups. You're very sweet. You're so sweet. You're kind. You could be a mom. You're very intuitive. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, you're just so gentle when it comes to your love, your family, your union. Um, like I said, with the sun here, people just love being around you. You're so nurturing. You're so kind. You're sweet. You're just like a ball of sunshine. All right, everywhere you go, there's like abundance. All right, everyone's happy around you. You illuminate everything you touch. This man, this narcissistic man, this king of cups in reverse, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio man, he's mad because he doesn't have access to you. Um, you are... You're just vibrant and naturally colorful, all right? It doesn't have to be the way you dress. It's just your your energy, your spirit, the way you are, okay? You're just naturally vibrant. Naturally vibrant. Death. Yeah. Whatever has been going on, judgment has been called. All of this shizzle is it's done. There's no more. There's no more to this. Page of Swords, reverse. These people are stalking the heck out of you. Um, this uh, High Priestess, Queen of Cups. She's being stalked by her friends or her ex-friends or her family, her ex-family or this wealthy man in reverse. She's being stalked. She's being watched. People are gossiping about her, right? They're mad. They're confused with the moon right here. They're mad and they're confused. They're just like, how the heck did this happen? How was a... High Priestess, Queen of Cups, well, how is she able to transform, right? And you, like, you can't, you cannot conform. They wanted you to be stuck in a certain way. You're like, well, I don't want to be this anymore, so I'm just going to transform into a higher being. And then you did. You did that. That's so funny. Let me get one more. That was fast. <laughs> justice. Yeah. You're getting justice for all of this mistreatment. So judgment has been called, and the outcome is justice for this, for um, this Queen of Cups that is in a partnership. This Queen of Cups is also a high priestess. This is somebody who is very, very spiritual, very, very intellectual, wise, knowledgeable, sweet, kind, a mother, intuitive. You got the Eight of Pentacles. She's very hardworking. All right. Her and her lover, they're very hardworking. But she, the thing is too, they don't understand. One of the reasons why they're so confused is how was she able to do this? And I'm going to tell you how. It's because you did the work. You're very hardworking. You did the work to get to where you need to be. That's really what it is. You just did the work. 
Um, and they're, they don't believe that because I don't know. I just, they don't believe in hard work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these people, they're, they're, okay. So the justice for you is like love, happiness, blah, 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 right? Their outcome is that they're about to be getting some bad news. They're going to be in debt. They don't like that you freed yourself from all of this. Everything that's been going on, they don't like it. They're just like, wah, ha, wah, ha, ooh, ha, wah. Ha, 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 ha. Like that one song. Ha, 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 ha. So um, I'm going to get some more of these and then I'm going to close it. What time is it? 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Look at that. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Now it'd be some shizzle if uh, it came out in these, right? You looking for a sign is a sign. So I feel like collective, you did a lot of praying and then you got the answer, right? We have a couple letters here. Families that sleep together, stick together. Family secrets. Lied about a relationship. You've gone through a rebirth. Projecting their negativity on you. 444 protection, the universe and your spiritual guides are protecting you. I don't know why I did it. Yes, you do. Attacking your throat chakra. Yeah, they didn't want you to speak about the truth. They didn't want you to get the truth out. Right? They wanted you to have communication issues. The spirit of God is with you. Don't give up. Your sister can be involved in this, okay? Or, you know, this wealthy man, if he has a sister, they could be involved. With, somebody's sister is involved. They want what you have. Proverbs 23, 9. Do not speak in the hearing of a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of your words. Yeah, these people don't want to hear about the truth. And not only that, but these people, they they swore up and down, you were dumb. You were not smart. You were not this. You were not that. Because it made them feel like, because they're actually, they're all idiots. They really are idiots, right? So the fact that you were smarter than them, they were just like, oh, well, we got to do something because we don't like how smart the collective is, right? <sighs> they're just jealous. 
We have the letter R, the letter E, the letter H, the letter Z, the letter F. Okay, this could be somebody's um, people's initials, first, last, middle initials, names of places, things. They kind of, um, somebody tried to roofie you. Somebody wants to get you out, or they were trying to get you out into something so they could roofie you. That's it. But that's why you've been guided to not go out lately. That's why you've been guided to stay inside, to not go to parties, to not go to you know, hang out with just anybody, right? Because you're being guided. The divine knows what these people are trying to do to you or have been trying to do to you, all right? They've been trying to do some really sick shizzle to you because they're greedy and they're jealous and they're hateful. They wanted to cut down this pine tree. They wanted to poison this pine tree. They wanted to poison this pine tree. They didn't want this pine tree to continue to grow, to spread roots, right? If you're in bearing age, they didn't want you to have kids. They didn't want you to, you know, continue your legacy to pass on your spiritual gifts to your knowledge, your wisdom to your children. They did everything they can to poison this pine tree. Only for this pine tree to continue to grow. It's actually very sad when you really think about it. What people are capable of for money, jealousy, hatred. These are the same people that will do anything and everything to get ahead. And then when justice comes, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean it. Please have mercy. Well, you weren't. What was that energy when it came to me? Right? What was that energy when it came to the collective? You didn't care about him. You didn't care about her. You're only asking for mercy because of yourself. Because you're scared for you. That is the end of this video. I think I will upload this video. Um... Yeah. Someone tried to poison you. And then again, this is not everybody's story, you know, so just, you know, take what resonates and what do they say? Leave the rest. Bye.